Well, guys, we are back. More Lucifer. We're on season four, episode eight, and this one is called Super Bad Boyfriend. So, guys, I can't believe what I saw from that uh, ending of that last episode. Of course, with Lucifer with his devil wings instead of uh, angel wings, which was yeah, I thought it was gonna be some like different color or something like that, or it's turning into that thing. But no, it was completely different wings from what he had before. So they're still there, but they're just in devil form. And basically, Eve is the one that's making him become that that's pretty much what the priest is saying that's part of the prophecy he thought was with chloe no it's really with eve eve is the one that's making him become this basically lucifer's kind of like getting pulled on both sides where eve is pulling him on one side and of course chloe's pulling him on another side you know of course eve wants him to do all these you know bad things and of course chloe wants him to do the right thing so basically lucifer needs to do something with eve he knows there's something wrong he knows that and you can see in his face he doesn't he doesn't want to become that he just doesn't but yeah linda was shocked I mean, she's like she's looking like i don't know what to do with that and then dan and lopez when was that a thing i never suspected there you know those two are a thing i'm not gonna lie that was a huge surprise i was not expecting that even in the slightest i was not expecting it they were going out i'm like what i'm like i was just thinking i'm like i'm trying to go back in all the seas i'm like when would when did they ever like each other maybe there was little clues there that we met i missed hints i i definitely missed something because i'm like that was a huge surprise i'm pretty sure lucifer's gonna show the devil wings to uh chloe to tell you know tell her what's going on maybe something like that or chloe's gonna go to lucifer and you know explain to him like what's going on with him you know why eve is a bad influence on you you need, you need to get rid of her straight up like pretty much he, he needs she needs to go but yeah uh, guys this was a great episode of uh, the patreon sponsor for today is from jason jason thank you for your wonderful support for this month i greatly appreciate it guys make sure you go on the page to consider joining i appreciate any support that does come around anyway guys let's get into this next episode for lucifer i granted you a favor now you owe me one it's time to pay up i need a medical consultation if i was to tell you i had a mole or two on my back perhaps you could reshape them maybe Shush them up a bit. I'd have to see them first. <laughs> Not possible, I'm afraid. Wait, you have moles that large on your back? You need to get them checked out, have them removed. But I tried removing them in the past, but the stubborn buggers always seem to grow back. I just need you to dress them up a smidge. So what's up? Nothing, crime scene stuff. Yeah. Oh, this is weird. So, about the other... Yeah, I wanted to. Me too. It was... Totally... But you know... Working together. Crossing lines. Bodies crossing. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't. No, we shouldn't. I'm so glad we could talk about this like adults. Yeah, okay. Cool. Oh, sorry. I'm just... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? What is real and fake, but what he said... It scared me. Well, come on, then, Detective. What did he say? He said, when the devil walks the earth and finds his first love, evil shall be released. Well, this is wonderful news. Anything to help find the person who did this? We're speaking to everybody in the A Club because you all were the last to see Miss Baez last night. So did you notice anything out of the ordinary with her? No. She was her normal, cheery self. Miss Baez was awesome. She did so much for me, helped me get into my first choice. She's too calm. She's probably, it's probably it her Harvard. already. She's also just so good at giving advice on anything. Excuse me. Do you have a good relationship with your father? I'm dancing half naked in a nightclub for money. What do you think? Yeah, no. You know where I could find Lucifer Morningstar? No, he's not here right now. I wouldn't solve your problem. Sounds like this to here would just, you know, make you sell more. What am I supposed to do? I just want out. I'm looking for someone I can do that with. Whatever. I'm in. You're too clingy. This is never gonna work. What? In fact, I'm concerned that you're returning to a familiar pattern of denial. That's exactly what I was going to say. And don't you just hate it when he takes the exact wrong message from every single conversation? Oh my God! Every single time! <laughs> right, like... why don't we get back on? Super has a tendency to project his issues onto external sources. <laughs> not what he wanted! Face his issues head on. Finally! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Caleb. 
Gabe is out, his obligation is done. This dude right here mean business. See, I got expenses, and he needs to pay me out one way or another. Why wouldn't those officers listen to me? I tried to talk to them, reason with them, but they, they wouldn't listen. It's like they'd already made up their minds. Look, those two cowboy hotheads are way out of line, and I'm filing an excessive force complaint against them as soon as all this is over. What if it's true? Someone might have it out for Lucifer. I guess it's possible. I, I guess I could narrow it down to which cop it could be by tracking down to the department cars, but I don't know what to do. I don't know if to tell Chloe or to not tell him. Oh, Dan, what are you doing? I'm, I'm flattered, but I just... You're right. We, we need to be on the same page here, which is that this... Is no bueno. I got, I got caught up in the moment. It's your thing. Sounds like it's way out of left field to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, you're you're right. Uh okay, uh, Damn. Anyway, uh later. Okay. Oh my god, what a mess. I mean, look what happened to you. You didn't even do anything and you almost got shot. The only truth that matters is theirs. And to them, I am a black kid who is selling drugs, whose fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. My life is over. Just go. Stop wasting your time on me. I'm not leaving you, Caleb. Loved your profile. And all those stories you made up about murderous exploits. Wow. <laughs> uh, consider me face. turned on. <laughs> but uh, I don't see this working out. I didn't want to accept it, that he could do something like this. So, Nate killed Miss Baez? I love him. But he can get so angry sometimes. It's scary. Mm -hmm. And Nate was devastated when his parents split up. I think he blamed it on Miss Baez. Just never thought he'd go this far. Those Lexi, crocodile break, tears. Right? I don't know about her. I'll go grab you some tissues. Something about her, I mean, I might be looking at it all wrong, but still. Lexi just wanted me to be someone I'm not, and I should have stood up to her before anybody got hurt. I'm so sorry. Get away. You got nothing to worry about. About what? Being a dad. You're gonna crush it. I'll see you tomorrow. You deserve to be with someone that wants what you want. I want to be with you. And I don't like who I am with you. I have to take this as work. Detective, how can I help you? I don't know where Amenadiel is, why? The kid got shot, did he? God damn it, it better not be him. Oh. I promise you, we will find whoever did this. I know who did this. I'll drive. They're about to go take care of that dude. Caleb. I warned that boy not to do that, man. Bro, how dare you? Ten thousand miles gone. Take me to your river. What's he doing? Is he giving his necklace to him? I brought this upon myself. How's about that for starters? Don't you see? This is progress. Genuine progress. Unraveling these patterns of denial is the first step toward resolving these issues. Doctor, this isn't progress. Because if I'm doing this to myself, then the, then the real truth, I can't stop asking myself. Why do I hate myself so much? Okay, so Lucifer's feeling like he does, of course, he hates himself. I think anyone can identify with that because I think everyone has to face this in one point in their lives. I think pretty much everyone has to on this earth. Basically, Lucifer needs to learn how to uh, accept himself. That's pretty much what I'm getting from this. And I think the reason why he kind of walked away from Chloe for a minute, I think he's just trying to protect her from himself. And of course, he broke up with Eve and he thought that was going to make everything better, but it really wasn't just Eve. It's like he. Well, like you said, he doesn't like himself and he's trying to figure out, figure out why he doesn't like himself. That's pretty much what he's trying to figure out at this point. I mean, what's next with him? What's he going to do this time? How is he going to uh, basically get to a point where he accepts himself? That's pretty much the question that 
needs to be answered is like what's gonna happen next Amenadiel went to those drug deals and beat him up for killing his friend uh, the boy he was mentoring uh, and it, that was terrible that was terrible what happened he got him out of that whole situation and then suddenly they still came after him either way either way they did that even if they paid him his money they still went after him and then he feels like he can't raise his son on earth so he feels like his son needs to go back to the silver city uh, but how's Linda gonna feel about that because you know, she's the one giving birth to this uh, this baby so it's she might not she might not agree with that she may not so I don't know if she will or not like I say it just seems to me like Lucifer just of course needs to work on himself learn how to love himself as what he is that's the point of this and that's tremendously hard for him to do really is he doesn't like the way he is he wish he, he was different he, in some ways he, of course he doesn't want to become pure evil but of course he doesn't want to become pure good or whatever it's kind of weird like he's in between and he's trying to figure out what he is i hope you guys enjoy the reaction this was a damn good episode i cannot wait to see what's going to happen next and see what lucifer is going to do and we got pretty much two more episodes and we're on season five already and i'm looking forward to getting into season five very very soon anyway guys uh, please leave a like and a comment on the video make sure to go on the patreon page to get the full reaction also consider supporting the channel as well but anyway guys hope you guys have a wonderful day i'll see you guys next lucifer